dealing with debt. We're looking at our relationship with God in the perspective of how we relate to the material world that we live in, how we relate to our possessions and our dependence on God through what is mine and what is his. We looked at the roles of tithe and offerings in this context and this week we look at another interesting and important financial perspective. It's about debt. Debt is not a nice word. Owing someone is not a good feeling. It's a type of slavery as basically we're not free under debt. And this is not just for finances. It can be about time or technical debt, for example. Things that we don't handle or clear on time and keep accumulating debt. Getting into financial debt may be for various reasons. Ignorance, for example. Nothing is free in this world and by the time we realize that, it may be too late. Greed and desire for flashy things, quick success, etc. are other reasons we may end up deep into debt. Misfortune can be another reason. Life is rough and we can get easily into situations that we are not prepared for and we can handle without help. The reasons may be various and may not always even be bad reasons, but no matter the reason, debt is always something that holds us back. From a biblical perspective, debt is not a good thing either. God paid out our ultimate debt to set us free, debt that we were never going to be able to pay. He sets us free from the bondage and chains of sin, and with that, from all things that have strong holds on us. And we have the choice now to not go back into debt. Financial debt is just one part of it, but it's an important part. The study guide goes through some practical questions. How to get out of financial debt, for example. It's a journey with God and a commitment. It involves a strategic approach and discipline, paying off smaller debt and moving into the higher ones, the feeling of freedom as these chains start to loosen <laughs> is incredible. We're also discouraged to become guarantors for each other's debt or loans. The author discourages it even for family members and it cites a statistic according to which 75% of the guarantors end up making the payments. We're also discouraged to look for the easy way up, easy gain and get rich quick schemes I don't think there is much need to explain why, but it seems important to remind ourselves about it. Today, we can buy a house or get an education without loans. Mortgages extend to 30 or 40 years sometimes. In biblical times, one received another chance out of debt every seven years. Today's economics are very different and we enjoy the luxury of a very different lifestyle because we mastered borrowing. We borrowed from future generations as well. What it means to be debt-free may be different in our various circumstances, but the principles should be clear and we need to be conscious and proactive about it. God freed us from the biggest debt. He can surely help us to build a life of freedom. What will I take away from this lesson in the length of one tweet, hashtag lesson in one? Debt is a bondage. God paid our ultimate debt and he can help us gain freedom in every aspect of our life. We need consciousness, strategy, commitment and accountability with him. Laying up treasure in heaven is the theme for next week.